Hello kiddos, this is Chaz and you're in the series of Educational Board Game. So this is Panic Mansion. Now, as per the look of it, it looks quite uh, spooky and um, just go inside of it and see how spooky is that. Because this is a game suitable for uh, 6 years and above of age and 2 to 4 players can play it and 20 minutes is a time limit and you can extend it if you want to, but 20 minutes would be a better idea. So these are specially designed, you know, technically and visually designed by such awesome uh, gamers and uh, people who are actually dedicated to it for games and stuff. So here yeah, we go inside of it. Cool. Isn't it actually very cool? Alright, I see a lot many things going on here. So you can actually see a lot of spooky things going on all over the board. We get to know what exactly that is. Ooh, look at this. Even the instruction panel has a kind of, you know, a scary look to it. So I'm quite interested in this one. Here we go with English. And it says, the mansion up the hill has always had a reputation of being cursed. After dark, villagers keep seeing strange things moving behind the windows. As if the house seems to be tilting or rocking. Tilting or rocking. It is said the only way to break the mansion's curse would be to gather in one specific room some of the ghoulish ghosts. Okay, so the spooky ghosts are to be uh, gathered in one room so that the curse can be broken. Wandering eyes, slithering snakes, crawling spiders and other objects that have been inhabiting its dusty wall. Will you be the first to break the curse and flee the mansion? Let us see. So it has quite a good uh, story behind it which would actually get all your interest in the game because not only it's spooky, it's interesting, it's mysterious and also it has a goal to be achieved which is to gather all the ghosts in one place and then the curse would be actually broken. The way, that way, you would be actually helping the uh, villagers outside who see spooky spooky stuff and uh, ghost-like things and beings in the window of this particular mansion which is known as Panic Mansion. Before your first game, assemble the walls of your mansion so that the colour of the walls match the colour of the room. So, we would actually assemble it. So, this is how it is to be done so that the boy can actually pass by it and according to the colour of the room and the wall you should actually match accordingly. So now that we have uh, just uh, built this from the scratch, alright, so we have matched the colour of the carpet and the walls and that is how we built the walls so that it could be you know, particular rooms for different purposes, the bedroom and so on. So these two are done. Now we have our snakes, ghost eyes, and a lot more going on in here. So yep, this is how it is, the first packet. And then I think these are, I believe, cards and room that boy. Those are little spiders going on there. So now we get to set these two boxes to so how it is to be done. So be careful with this. Now that you're just opening it up, don't mess it so that it stays clean and neat while you're playing the game. Collect each of these because I already have done these and uh, when it comes to you, when you're opening it for the first time, it wouldn't be already done. You have to start it from the scratch, picking up from uh, you know every um, piece of it. You have to collect from the board. And be very careful because this is actually cardboard. When it's single, it's not that um, strong. So there we go. This is our last one, and we just discard this, or if you don't want to keep it, it's up to you. 
Now that we come to this part, we are going to adjust both of these parts of the game accordance, in accordance with the color combination which is presented here. So um, there's a yellow room here and a purple room there. So I should find the yellow and the purple thing. And remember that the ball is to be passing by these areas and these are actually doors if you are able to see and it's red and green so I'll just go with red and green this way so when these are single just be careful with them have your adults around so that they can guide you alongside of it You might find some uh, pieces still sticking around as you see this one uh, but then it's nothing to be worried of because that's pretty normal. You just discard that one and fix your rooms as you go along. So now that we have built both of these two mansions, so this is to be made in between four of the players. So we just divide it in four. And uh, we unpack our little tiny creatures. These are so cute. Okay, these are some black deadly spiders that are crawling over my hen. So we will just keep them aside and take our cards. Let's have a look around these. So they basically have a room like structure on the back of it and the front of it holds something as which is reflected here all right so we keep these aside too so these are pretty spooky things coming out of one packet so there are eyes eyeballs literally and they are cute little spooky ghosts and they are snakes and some dyes I would say squares all right and there comes you little thing so we have four of these and a few of these squares so yeah as we open it all we have four of these mansions um, cards, spiders, eyeballs, squares, you as in the players, four of them, and then these spooky little ghosts, and that's it. You'll find these are the content inside now that we have just come up and just adjusted and built our mansions, the walls of it. The content 400 mansion boxes, these are our four haunted mansion boxes 48 objects for adventurers wrap so you are the adventurer okay eight white ghosts eight white eyes eight black spiders eight purple snakes so we also have treasure chests what are treasure chests so a box which is filled of treasure inside of it is known as a treasure chest. So these are our treasure chests. We'll keep them aside. So these are 12 of them and 48 challenge cards. So how to play the game? Okay, goal of the game comes first. So it says to flee the mansion, be the first to complete five challenges by gently tilting and shaking the box to place the correct object into the room following the information on the card. So how to play? You follow the same principles when playing each game or variation. Players will have to rearrange the objects in their mansion by gently tilting and shaking the box so that the objects may pass through the doorways into other rooms without touching the object with their hand. If each player, so as we have eight of these, I'll give two of the uh, spiders to this person. So they are like four of our adventurers standing there. So we give two of each thing, two ghosts, 
two spiders. Two of the eyeballs, which tend to roll all the time. So now we have our card in the mid and all such things are uh, dispersed. So we just have to uh, shake our mansion, shake and move around so that the ball or whatever is in there can move accordingly and come in one room, whichever room that is. But the play of the card is still there. So basically, you have to shake it and move it and just, you know, twist it around so that it moves in between the doorways. And that is to be done without touching any of the object, else then your box. In order for a challenge card to be considered complete, all of the objects required in one room must be entirely in that room. No other object may be in that same room. Objects must be completely in the room. Those in doorways do not count. So basically what you have to do is objects must be all scattered in each room. No object should actually be um, in between the doorways. It should be scattered around. So if it all this snake is in between the doorways or this adventurer is in between the doorways this does not come so this is wrong so we have to adjust them in a way in the beginning of the game that all of these uh, people or all of these objects are in different rooms altogether like different object in different room except the uh, treasure box or treasure chests which are you know which are just there so it just can be anywhere game one set up shuffle the cards and place them in the center of the table so that the side with the objects is face up this side will not be used for this game each player takes one adventurer two goals two eyes two spiders two snakes and three chests Players set up their mansion by placing one adventurer, one ghost and three chests randomly into the box. So while we are beginning the game, we shouldn't actually all uh, sum it up by putting all the objects in your box but rather each player is given one adventurer, one ghost and three chests. Okay, one adventurer, one ghost just rest all the objects must just be aside kept aside so we place the adventure here just here and we just here so in the beginning we'll just keep aside everything else and just keep one ghost one adventurer and three of the, of the chests in the box gameplay before each round, players mix up their object in the box for the players to their right. Before each round, players mix up the objects in the box of the player to their right. One player turns over the top card revealing to all the side with the room. All players then race to complete the challenge by gently tilting and shaking their boxes as they try and get the adventurer and the three treasure chest and only those objects into the room. Pictured this room, it's here and it's here for this one. So they just try to move everything to this room which is the treasure box, the adventurer, the eyes. The first player to complete the challenge shouts panic mansion then has the player to their right double check and wins the card as a point if correct. If the person is correct then he checks actually he first checks with the person at his right and then after the approval of all the team members and all the players around he would come to a conclusion where he is actually uh, he has actually done it correctly so when he has done it correctly um, 
The card is actually owned by that person as a point. In case of a mistake, that player must give back a card if available. And the round continues until someone is able to finish the challenge. The player to the right of the round winner picks an object from those that the round winner had put aside and adds it to the round winner's mission, mansion, making future game play slightly harder. A new round starts. Okay, so firstly when I'm picking a, a card, the card has the color of the room, the color of the room and it, it, it is as though you're seeing from the top of it. So the color of the room is actually shown here and how the room is everything and then you have to bring whatever combination com comes at this side of the uh, card you should actually bring it in this room in the mansion so what you do is when the card is flipped you know all of these objects are to be settled in one room which is this one so what i do is i shake and i move the objects in one side First of all, we only have the treasure box and the adventurer, so we need to get rid of the ghost in there. So there we go, we have our treasure boxes and our adventurer in one room which is same as the grey room. So I win the card if at all the person on my right has checked it and my answer is correct, I take the card away as a point, as a reward. For say, if I was wrong, if at all it so happens that I lose one point by uh, not arranging or not settling all my objects in one room as suggested in the card, then I will have to return my card. If at all I have none with me, then I have to give the one which is actually uh, being played right away and under the pile it goes and every time you win a card with the card you actually take one object inside your mansion as i took the eyeballs or else if you want to take snakes you can take snakes to make uh by every round everyone should take an uh, object from the table which they have kept aside so that after each round the game gets harder and harder so the person who wins will actually take an object from uh, the table which we have actually kept aside and that way the game gets harder each time you play with every round now coming to the end of the game the first player to, f to 5 points wins the game and can then flee the mansion the moment you have 5 of these points you win the game and you can actually flee the mansion. That means you have relieved, you're being a hero and you've relieved the mansion of the ghost and the fear which was there in the villages. Game 2 set up. Shuffle the cards and place them so that the side with the room is faced up. Same thing. We shuffle the cards and place them in a way that the uh, room is actually on top so we can see the room here so we have to pile them up in a way that the room is seen first by all the players in the center of the table both sides of the cards will be used for this game each player takes one adventurer two ghosts two eyes two spiders two snakes and three chests and places all the objects into the box so the player takes one adventurer, two ghosts, two eyes, two spiders, two snakes and three chests. When this is all set, how to play the game further? Before each round, players mix up the box they are holding and then pass it to the player to their left or right. So in this game, we just mix everything up and then later pass it to the player on my left so if at all this is my left i would pass this box to 
this person and the person on my right would actually give me a box of I mean the, the mansion box and I'll have that one and I have to continue playing with that one. One player then turns the top card over revealing the side with objects and places it next to the pile as opposed to on top of it in game one. Players then use both visible cards on the table as a reference for the challenge. They must race to get all the objects pictured on one of the cards into the room, pictured on the other. So we have to take two of the cards. Alright. So one is flipped and one is, you know, turned uh, upside down. So you have to actually consider both of them and go with uh, how it is. Okay, so now that we come to uh, the advanced level of the game, it says three of variations are there. So first one you knew that there are nothing much to it, but then we just go ahead with the game and with the instructions. But when it comes to part two, we actually have to consider both of these. Okay, so we have to take two of the cards and consider the room, the color of the room and the other card will be flipped over. So it should be that. Players then use both visible cards on the table as, the, as a reference for the challenge. They must race to get all the objects pictured on one of the cards into the room picture on the other so they have to collect these objects but then in a room which is this one the yellow mustard room rather than as we played uh, in earlier game so yeah basically we have to follow what is there on this card but then as we used to play earlier in this room rather we play both cards and we have to just these objects in this purple room let be purple let be green let be um, any other color the room would be of the color and so both the cards are to be played they must race to get all the objects pictured on one of the cards into the room pictured on the other no other objects may be in that room for the challenge to be considered complete so the challenge, if it is to be considered complete, there should be no other to uh, win the point or the card or the turn or this challenge to be complete, consider it as complete, then it should actually achieve the results as such that in the purple room there is a man, adventure man, a ghost, a gold casket or the, as they say chest. Uh, and a snake. Else in this, any fifth item coming in, it wouldn't be considered as the game is done. So if I show you the example with this one, I'm trying to get into the purple room with a ghost. Oh, okay. So basically, now I'm trying to get a ghost, a chest, a man, and a snake in the purple room. So I already have a ghost in here. So I'll just try to get the man here. And there is another extra gold casket which I cannot touch and remove. So I just have to shake it, wiggle it around and then, yep. So this is how I do it. So there is a snake, a gold casket or a treasure to chest, a man or adventure man and a ghost. So I have completed the challenge. So both these cards are scored by me and so the game will actually go on to our instructions. The first player to complete the challenge shouts Panic Mansion. So that anyone who completes the challenge first will actually shout out saying Panic Mansion. Then has the player to their right double check. Okay, so if I'm done, I want my right side partner to check whether it's done correctly or not. And wins the card as a point if correct. 
Okay, if you're correct, then you win the card as a point. In case of a mistake, that player must give back a card if available and the round continues until someone is able to complete the challenge. A new round starts. End of the game, the first player to collect 5 points wins the game and can then flee the mansion. Variation for the game 2. Instead of placing the objects pictured on the face of one card in the room pictured on the face of the other card players must place the object missing from the card in the room so the twist here is that we take again two of the cards and now earlier we so did that we are supposed to bring in these objects in the purple room so now what we do in this variation is that we accept these four objects we fit any other object in the same room. For example, except the ghost, the man, snake and casket. I can fill the purple room with any other with any other object like an eye. So finally after trying for so long I have come up with this that where I have settled two eyeballs and two uh, of the deadly spiders in the purple room so I win the card, both of them and I scored two points if I fail to do that, I mean if I fail to do the challenge correctly so that is how Panic Mansion is played and it is quite an interesting one with uh, when they come up with characters like ghosts eyeballs, snakes and little creatures like that. So I obviously would recommend you buying it online or any store available to the nearest of your home and this would actually be a great return gift too. So that is how you can find on our online uh, stores. So you can just actually uh, google it or on Amazon you can set, you have the search bar where you, can, where you can search Panic Mansion by Smiley Kiddos and you can actually have a list going on there so that's very pretty much easy to have it done that way online thank you so much for watching the video